Hey guys, what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I have an interesting one, kind of like a throwback to a graphics card that is from 2015. This is an R9 380 4 gigabyte card. Specifically, this is the Sapphire Nitro model. And I'm surprised that this GPU, as of recording, is actually still profitable. And so well, I did some numbers and I think that the ROI or break even time is about uh, 200, 220 days or so. And if you had free electric, th this would be paid back in about 120 days or 125 days or so. I'll show you guys some numbers later. But throughout this video, I just want to give you guys the hash rate numbers here. What are my overclocks? I'm using Hive OS and we're going to look at the power consumption, which actually you guys can see right now. 170, 169 watts at the GPU. I have a dedicated power supply for it. There is probably some inefficiency because I am not using the peak efficiency uh, rated for this power supply. I believe it's at like 50% load. And right now we're definitely not at 50% load on a 1200 watt power supply. But I wanna thank nerdgears.com for sending me this R9 380. Uh, they're like, hey, Red Panda, do you wanna test out an R9 380 four gigabyte card? And I'm like, hell yeah. So right now on their website, it goes for about $125 USD and uh, it's grade D. So that means the condition is pretty bad. Uh, it's not bad, but it's definitely rusted as you guys can see in the picture. And mine that I have here is definitely a bit rusted. I can, I definitely can feel some rocky bumps here, some rust here. And, uh, but it, it's still mining right now, so I'll, let me show you the numbers, guys. Okay, so we're in Hive OS, R9 380, 4GB Sapphire, and uh, we're getting about, uh, actually, let me refresh this, we're getting about 24, 24.36 mega hash, and uh, there's the temperature, there's the fan speed, uh, power consumption in the software says 111 watts. But uh, I just showed you guys over here, we're taking about 170 watts, okay? And uh, just in case some people want to know as well, this is my little ITX test bench with a 850 watt power supply, which is only powering the motherboard, SSD, processor, RAM at the moment. And this alone is only taking about 15 to 16 watts at the wall. Okay, so there's the GPU. And uh, these are my Hive OS settings, uh, just in case some people are curious. I, I tried many different settings, many different DPM core states, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And uh, I found out to be number 5 to be the best for this one. And I have the memory at 1750 and the fan at 80%. And that, that's it. That's all I have. And I can achieve uh, this hash rate number. It, it, goes, it fluctuates a bit from 24.3 to 24.8. And yeah, it's been running for about 35 minutes now. And actually I can show you over here. I'm puttied into it. So yeah, I'm able to achieve about 24 uh, mega hash on this GPU. And it's been, it's been going really good. Mining Ethereum Classic, of course. Okay, so some people may be thinking, Red Panda, can you mine Ethereum on this? And no, because the DAG size for Ethereum is over four gigabytes. And Ethereum Classic is still under three gigabytes. I think it's at like 2.7 or 2.8 gigabyte DAG size. So this GPU from 2015 can still mine Ethereum Classic, no problem till this day. There has been some rumors of Ethereum Classic moving towards uh, a new algorithm called SHA-3, then that would probably render this GPU useless to mine Ethereum Classic, and yeah, so. <laughs> but here are the specs, four gigabytes, GDDR5, 256-bit, and here are some other specs here of the GPU, but the biggest thing is that it's from 2015, and it's still profitable to this day. So guys, I wanna go into the computer. I wanna talk about more than just the profitability and uh, just, just of this GPU by itself, of mainly why it's profitable now versus maybe uh, two years ago. So I'll see you guys in the computer. We'll talk about all that stuff. Okay, so let's talk about the profitability first. So I'm on what to mine, probably the most popular website that a lot of miners go to just to see their general profitability. And so I don't have the 380 selected because we're gonna be manually putting in the hash rates, okay? Or just the Ethereum Classic hash rate. So I'm gonna be putting in 24.8, okay? And the power consumption was about 170 watts. So this is what I can achieve on this R9 380. And actually I did change the memory down another 20 points. So we're at 1730 now. 
it seems to be maybe a little bit more stable now, but it's still generally around 24.7, 24.8 mega hash. Okay, but anyways, let's hit calculate. Okay, we're going to do profitability of the past seven days. Hit calculate, 10 cents kilowatt hour, just average. And you can see here that the R9 380 right now, the one that I have, can make about either, if you had free electric, it would be $1 a day. Or if you had 10 cents kilowatt hour, then you'd be getting about 60 cents a day. Okay, after your 40 cents electrical cost a day. So look at that. And then you're yielding about 0 0.0188 Ethereum Classic roughly a day. But you can see actually there's a bunch of other ETHash algorithms here that are not bad in terms of profitability as well on this R9 380. So there you go. You know, roughly if you were to buy this, Right now, $125 on Nerd Gears, then you can see here if you had free electric, you would break even on it in about 125 days, right? You do the math there, 125 bucks, a dollar a day if you had free electric. If you had to pay for your electric, then you'd basically almost uh, a little bit less than double. So I'd say maybe 209, 210 days to simply break even on this GPU if you were to buy it and pay for electrical. But that's, of course, the prices of now, okay? The price of Ethereum Classic now and also, you know, if you're selling every day, which can change all the time, prices of crypto, as you all know, is very volatile. So take that into consideration. What you're making every day is probably not where you're going to be making tomorrow or the next week or the next month as it changes all the time. So if you're thinking of trying to get your money back as soon as possible, then maybe you'll have to look at, you know, selling every couple of weeks, you know, maybe a month, whatever makes sense for you, or you're just going to hodl it in hopes that uh, the price appreciation of the crypto that you're mining is going to go up in the long term. Anyways, guys, I want to talk now about why this old GPU R9 380 from 2015 is still profitable now. Some people may be asking this question and may not understand why. So there's a few things, okay? There's a few things here is that the biggest one is the price of Ethereum Classic, all right, has gone up, I would say, uh, let's say during the bear market, you know, this R9 380 was not profitable during the bear market. RX 580s were barely profitable uh, even mining Ethereum during this time, okay? It was, depending on what your electrical cost is, but let's just say generally 10 cents kilowatt hour, right? So let's just say, you know, generally Ethereum Classic around $5 back in 2020. Then, of course, the recent run-up of Bitcoin and all that stuff, Ethereum Classic did have a really high jump all the way to like $134 USD. So how big of a jump is that from like five dollars averaging around five dollars i guess to 120 134 that's about uh i'm gonna say between 30 or 40 times all right the price has gone up that much but here we are today as of recording uh, ethereum classic is 52 dollars. so if we were to do you know a factor of let's say uh 10 times let's just do let's just say 10 times from five dollars to 52 dollars as of recording now, and uh, we're just talking about the profitability aspect, why it's so profitable. And then also, you now you have to compare the hash rate, the network hash rate for Ethereum Classic, and the network difficulty. All of these metrics are what is being calculated on what to mine to get you that profitability number. And of course, Bitcoin dominance, it's converting it into BTC, and that's how you get your fiat value, okay? So relative to what the price of Ethereum Classic has gone up, so I said about 10 times, the network hash rate for Ethereum Classic has not gone up 10 times. Okay, so let's just say averaging, let's say back in 2020, you know, sometimes the network hash rate is about, I'm just going to say about 10 terahash. Okay, let's just say 10 terahash. Now, the network hash rate for Ethereum Classic is 25, 26 terahash. So I'm going to say that's only gone up like two and a half times. Now, if we take a look at the Ethereum Classic difficulty, all right, this is another metric here. It's only gone up, you know, let's say uh, averaging about 110, 110 terahash. So now you can see here, right now, we're at like 350. So that's a good three to four times. But the price of Ethereum Classic has not gone up only three times. Like I said, it's gone up about, I would say, 10 times averaging the last bear market that we had okay so that's why you know there's just not enough hardware to take advantage of the profitability of ethereum classic right now at 52 dollars okay so if that makes if that makes sense to you guys so let's just say the ethereum network hash rate just jumped all the way another 10 times then then that would be 
uh, I, that would be enough to make this R9 380 unprofitable. It would probably just be breaking even, essentially, or maybe making like 10 cents or something if the network hash rate difficulty went up another 10 times, right? So if that makes sense to you all, just understanding why this graphics card from 2015 is so profitable right now. Any GPU on the market is actually profitable right now. So whether or not you believe that you can either break even on this, you know, in the next, like I said, 125 days or 210 days or so, it's, you know, you're going to be taking on that risk if you believe that crypto is going to be going up and up and up still or stay at these relative prices in order for you to break even on this. Or, like I said earlier, you can hodl the crypto in hopes of more in price appreciation down the road, right? And then, you know, when Bitcoin goes up, basically all other cryptos will go up eventually. So maybe Ethereum Classic maybe one of those that will go higher than what it what it did before 134 dollars usd which is insane it had this huge spike up and of course it, it obviously went down real fast but you know who knows how lo how much longer this price of ethereum classic is going to stay at 53 dollars right it can go much lower or it can go much higher we're not quite sure that's something that you'll have to speculate on and believe that uh, if you're going to buy this gpu for mining you see the efficiency of it it's it's not great Right? It's not great comparing it to other GPUs out there, but you're if you're looking at the price of the GPU, it's it's attainable. It's attainable now. Yes, it seems nice now, but once if potentially if there's the bear market that comes and you know once Ethereum moves to proof of stake, a lot of that hash rate could potentially move over to Ethereum Classic, thus rendering it even less profitable for let's say if you bought these R9380s or even other any other GPUs out there that uh, it's going to affect the whole crypto mining ecosystem. So, you know, timing is everything. I don't know. I, I just, for me personally, I wouldn't buy these R9380 four gigabytes. I mean, if you were to get them for like next to nothing, like then sure. Or if you had free electric, actually, if you had free electrical cost, I would say, yeah, you can mine with any GPU. It doesn't even matter because you have free electric. I mean, if you're renting someplace and you just want to have a couple GPUs, then you're going to be profitable on any GPU that you have, any hardware, mining hardware that you have. So then why not, right? If you're just going to get into mining, sure, buy one of these, go to town, get Hive OS, link down below, you know, you guys can try it out, you know, it's it's something simple, especially a good entry GPU, sure, this GPU from 2015, <laughs> I, I did, I, like, I just cannot believe it, I remember, like, during the bear market of, uh, after 2018, during this time, you know, mining during this time, we were always fighting for efficiency, but look at us now, look at everything now, this GPU, R9380, is profitable now, as of now, as of recording this video, it's, uh, let's see, it's midnight here, Tuesday, October 12th. So it's just crazy. You know, timing is everything, I'd say. And uh, you just have to, yeah, believe in all the different scenarios. Just think about, it. just do your guys' own research and just think about all the different risk factors when you're buying these kind of old GPUs. You can see that uh, this <laughs> Sapphire R9, it's definitely rusted. You can you can tell by this picture and, and, and the video I showed you of the one that I got from Ner Nerd Gears. But Again, thank you to Nerd Gears for sending this to me. I, I'm not trying to like say that they're bad or anything. The one they sent me, it works. It works. I'm just giving you guys just I just want you all to understand the risk and when you're buying these kind of GPUs, older GPUs, and you know, the potential down the road that, you know, these could become unprofitable again. But who knows, right? If all these different coins out there Cork Chain, Callisto, Metaverse, that are actually depends on the DAG size of these coins. I think they're all lower than four gigabyte. So the R9 380 can mine these coins. It just totally depends on a lot of different variables uh, for you guys that are mining right now. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts of this R9 380. I think it's pretty cool for now. Oh, the hash rate dropped to 23.93. But anyways, I'm going to like play around with it. Maybe I'll give it away or something. You know what? I should just give it away. Okay, if you if you made it to the end of this video, guys, just comment down below. Comment down below if uh, if you're in USA or Canada and uh, tell me if uh, you like this R9 380. If not, yes or no, give me the reasons why 
and uh, I'll do comment picker, let's say four hours after the video is uploaded and I'll choose the winner after this video is uploaded. So for those that are, you know, subscribed and have the notification bell, then I'll know who my true loyal viewers are and uh, they'll be able to win this GPU. All right, guys. So yeah, do that. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Good luck. Have a good one and peace out.